Easy now, people. Say it. Welcome to Gunner Talks. Bit of a depressive one today. Such a mix of emotions after today's game. I'm, I'm just not sure what to make. There's some positives and some negatives, I suppose. Um, first thing, um, people again not learning to just get behind the manager and stop questioning his decisions. You know, this guy's the guy who's going to lead us forward like he is doing since the day he came in the door. And we've got to start putting some faith in the man. Um, you know, people moaning today, oh, he's left Torreira on the bench, Aubameyang, you know, Ozil's not playing again. Look at it from a, you know, who's getting paid to be a world-class manager? You are him. It's pretty straightforward, isn't it? You look at it, right? And exactly how it went today, and that's why people had to shut their mouths, is because look at how he's looking at it. Is if that we can sneak a lead for half time or things don't go the way we want we've got options whereas if you start with those three and we go in at half time one nil down what game changes have we got we've got none and it, that's why it's so obvious why he did what he did for me today um, and that I find it so frustrating that people just still can't get behind him and you know supporting certain players rather than our manager who is going to be here and who is going to take us forward look at the brilliant job he's doing so far whether you rate him or not he's doing a very good job and you've got to appreciate that whether you like him or not you've got to give the man some credit and it's so frustrating because I'm so glad to have a manager that's got a set of bollocks for a change who will do things that knows certain fans will question him a lot of the fans will question him a lot of the media will question him you know pundits alike and all the rest of it and he just doesn't care because he's confident in himself and his own ability. And I really rate Unai. I, you know, he's he's owned Pochettino, you know, the boy wonder, twice now this season. And these two guys are the exact same age, you know. I, I, I think people need to really start to understand just how good of a manager I think we've got. Um, and I've been saying it since he came in. I think he was the best man for the project we've got and I still stand by that. Um, so big, big credit to Unai today. I, 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 it's just a shame the way the game went because I'm sure, like most of you feel, it was two points dropped today, not one gained. Um, you know, it's a shame we couldn't keep that clean sheet away from home because you know we're the only team in the Prem not to keep an away clean sheet, which is really hindering our top four chances. Um, but you know, today that was. You can put it a bit down to player error, um, which I'll, I'll skirt on in a minute. Um, but, you know, there's other things besides that that are, that are holding us back. Um, so let's get into it, players, today. Um, Leno, you know, I told you guys at the start of the season, this guy's a lot better than people are giving him credit for just because he makes the odd mistake. Um, you know, these mistakes aren't massive. People have tried pointing out this year he's made three mistakes leading to goals. One of them definitely wasn't a mistake. And Alisson's made two mistakes leading to goals and he cost 50 million more. And he definitely isn't a £50 million better player, in my opinion. Um, he's a better player, but not £50 million better. And, you know, like, look at Chelsea with uh, Azabalalalalalaga, you know, Kepa, who is not a very good Kepa. Um, you know, and he was at £50 million more. Definitely not a better goalkeeper, in my opinion. Could be in future, but he's not at the moment, nowhere near. And, you know, for me, Leno is growing all the time, getting more confident. It'd help if we had a more solid, better back four that he could command. Um, but I really rate him. He's good with his feet. Knows when to punt it or when to play it short. His shot stopping's brilliant. He, he has a decent command of his area for me. And, you know, that, that quick two saves today were, were game changers. Um, you know, he didn't doesn't make that save. We were going there at one at one all. And I think we might have been in a bit of trouble. That was such a big save. Um, so I thought he did well again today. You know, didn't have much to do apart from when he did have something to do. He, he dealt with it incredibly well. And that was a world-class save, that second one. Um, and I'm I'm really chuffed with this guy, and I think we're pretty solid in goalkeeper position going forward. I think dropping Martin as next year into number two, healthy competition for Leno, check gone. I, I I think we're decent there, and we don't need to do anything in that position, so we can look in other areas. Um, here's where it goes a bit downhill. Uh, Mustafi, I mean I'm not his biggest fan. Um, awful, awful. Yeah. Him and Xhaka, for me, are two players that are, are dumb as rocks. They've got no common sense whatsoever and they don't they don't ever take into account the occasion. You know, it, it's all right. Well, it's not all right, but you can get sent off when you're 5-0 up against, you know, Sw Swansea or whoever, Shrewsbury. You know, whatever. You're 5-0 up against them, right, you can get sent off. It's not costly. This is a North London derby, pal. The, the, it's for all the beans. It's for the Champions League. It's what we need to, to keep improving as a club. 
and he's making them stupid, stupid decisions again. You know, just in the back. I mean, maybe maybe Kane would have got to the ball after Koscielny, but why is he nudging him in the back like that, just leaning into him, free foot in front of the referee? I, I have no doubt he was going to give it. I mean, you can obviously go and say, well, Kane was offside, not, but it's still a dumbass decision regardless. He thought play was continuing and he made that foul and it's unforgivable. You know, this this isn't a, a you know like people give Gwen Luzi stick. This isn't a nineteen year old. This ain't no teenager. This is a a mature professional who is experienced at the highest level. This guy's a he's got a World Cup winners medal for God's sake. You know, it's it's shambolic. And he's for me, he's somebody who's just got to go. He's got to go. Um, you know, for me, money wise, pound pound for pound, I think he's one of the worst defensive signings we've ever made. Um, you know, on, on his day, he can make some good tackles, but. He does two fatal things for me that are just that you know put his head in a noose for me, and that is he steps out too late, and he always plays people on side through a ball over the top, which he has done thousands of times. And how many times this year? Now again, like last year, does he make these stupid last ditch tackles or clumsy fouls where they cost us massively every time? It's not like he's ever getting away with any of them. Um, so for me today, that was his final nail in the coffin with me. Um, one out, one out of ten. If he, you know. Yeah, I just I, I, it's just unforgivable for me. I don't want to bad mouth him, but I just I can't bear it. And I don't want to see another back on top tweet for the rest of my fucking life. I, honestly, I just I'm done with the guy. I'm done. I've, I think I've been very patient and give him a few seasons, and he's just not learning. Um, Socrates for me today, um, close to man of the match. I thought it was absolutely phenomenal today. Um, you know, and I'm sure people will pull on the fact that that little flick over the top from Kane, uh, where Ericsson was in, and, made, and Leno made the first of those two saves, you could say that Socrates stepped out. But if you actually look along the line, Socrates stepped out right at the right time. It's Mustafi on the far side that was playing Ericsson on. So I can't blame him for that, and I think he was absolutely phenomenal today. And God help us if we haven't assigned this guy. I, I just, I don't think we'd be in the top half of the table. I really don't. Um, and I think. For pound for pound for this guy, I think we've signed an absolute class player. You know, he's at that right age where he's coming and he's, he's doing exactly what we needed him to. You know, in the absence of Koscielny, and we needed an older Ed that can teach the younger guys and, you know, boss a back line. And he's been class for me this year. I think he's been one of the best signings we've made in, in quite a long time. I'm really impressed with him. And um, so, to Papa today, I, I, like I say, I, I've, I, I thought he's been brilliant all season on the whole. Um, you know, when he pocketed Kane all day, all game today, absolutely pocketed him, just bullied him, you know, just absolutely bullied him. Um, so yeah, really impressed. Um, Kishelna, um I thought he was really good today. Um, you know, I'm not his biggest fan, and I do think he's finished. But just for this year, you know, he can do a job, and I, I felt like he did one today. I thought our back line, apart from Mustafi, was brilliant today. Uh, well, maybe not the back line, but the two centre backs, I thought, were, were really good, really good. Um, so I was happy with him. I, you know. Um, Monreal, you guys know I'm not a fan. Um, and you know when 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 Musa Sissoko's making you look like you're running in treacle, it, it, it's it's worrying for me. Um, you know he can do a job, but we can we can do better. I don't get why we've given him an extension unless we know we're going to aim spending money in other positions. Um, and you know we can just live on him him and, and him and Saeed for another year. But we need another left back. We need somebody who's you know you look at a Robertson or. You know, even Luke Shaw or, you know, Wan Wissaka and these sort of players, Van Arnold, you know, you're looking at these guys and, you know, even Turney in Scotland or Chilwell, you know, I would much rather have any of these guys than, than what we've got at the minute. Um, yeah, I just can't. I can't. I mean, somebody said, well, he made a load of tackles today. Yeah, but that doesn't take into account how many times Sissoko ghosted him down that wing. I'm just, I'm just done with it. I think we've got to move on from these old heads that just aren't offering us much and they're keeping us stagnant. Um so he was a low scorer for me today. I, I wasn't impressed at all. Um, the Gwendo, the Doozler. Past the Gwendo, the and You know, I love this kid. Um, he looked a bit out of his depth today. Um, he, he was just a bit headless chicken today. Um, but I think that was more a part of the midfield three that we had in the first half for me. It's got, we needed a, a tackling, you know, defence-minded midfielder and, and we, we didn't have one at all on in the first half, which I thought was brave for Moonai because I thought we might have got eaten alive. Um, but, 
you know, we've asked a lot of this kid this year and he's delivered in, in spades for me, in absolute spades. And I hope we can keep hold of him for, you know, this kid could become a club legend. Um, you know, if we could keep him for 10 years, I mean, I'd be happy to get five out of him. Um, you know, and if we could keep him for 10, I, we've got a real diamond on our hands in this lad, you know. And for me, you know, if he matures a little bit over the summer, I'd, I'd have him as a starter over Xhaka every single game, every single game. Um, just just on his heart and in his fight and the way he goes about playing the game, you know, he, he offers so much more for me. He might not be as mature, but he offers so much more in terms of diversity and his in his style of play. I, I I would I would definitely rate him up there as one of the best signings we've made in a long time, you know, pound for pound wise. Um, so yeah, like I say, he looked a bit out of his depth today and I wasn't surprised he got hooked early. Um, but you know the amount of games he's had to play and what we've asked of him this year, he, he's come through for me. So I'm not going to hammer him at all, not at all, because um, it's been a big step up from French League Two. And for me, you know, I thought it'd be sink and swim. And if you watch my videos from the start of the season, I said what I didn't want to see with him is just chuck him in the deep end all the time and force him to sink or swim. Because if he sinks, it could ruin his confidence. Luckily for us, this kid is cast iron nerve you know like the other day when he made that mistake for the goal and it didn't bother him in the slightest he just kept playing his game and that is what I love about him um, you know huge step up from what he's used to really young you know I, I, I think this kid's got a massive future so I'm not going to go on about that next you know in the absence of Welbeck my new best mate Xhaka I just I, I don't know how people keep backing this guy I really don't you look at the first 10 minutes 15 minutes today that tackle on Kane from behind, studs in his calf, that could have been a straight red if there was VAR. Or it was definitely a yellow. And then five minutes later, the pull of the shirt, he'd have been gone after 10 minutes in a North London derby. And this is the same as what I said about Mustafa. He's, he's got rocks for brains. You know, all right, he can pick a pass, yeah, but he, he should have more, more aspects to his game than just being able to pick a long ball here and there and, and nudging it about the back line. It's not enough. It's not enough for it to be at a club like Arsenal, our beautiful club. And this guy is thick as shit for me, um, the same as Mustafi, you know, he's a seasoned pro, he, you know, he's been captain of his national side, you know, he, he, he's not a mug, but he plays like one and he thinks like one and I, I cannot be doing with him anymore, I can't bear watching him, uh, he just, and you know, and he got his yellow, he could have had six yellow cars today, he's just lucky, I just, you know, I, I, I'm never going to say I want somebody to get shown up because they play for Arsenal, but... It's, I want Unai to see the light with this guy, and like I said, if if we're sticking with him and Torreira as a midfield two, uh, as a pairing that we're going to try and challenge for the league, it's never happening. We're only ever going to be a top four side if we're lucky, because he ain't got it. Why we can't go and get another Torreira to play next to Torreira is beyond me. Instead of this guy, and none of you can give me good enough reasons why we wouldn't, we, sh we wouldn't, and shouldn't go and do that, because all you can say is well, he sprays the ball about well. Not enough for me to to compensate for all the all the down points in his game. Um, I'm not going to keep going on, but he's a, he was a one or two out of ten for me today. He's useless, like, you know, and it shows it. No Torreira today, and he was the senior midfielder, and he's shit. He can't he can't run a midfield. He's not got the legs, you know. Yeah. And it's like I've seen every time, um, you know, just on effort, willingness, you know, engine, all the rest of it. I pick Wenduzi over him every single time. This is a 19 year old kid. I should not be saying this in a million years. That would pick him over a 25, 26 year old seasoned international. Enough said about him. But him and Mustafi are for the two for me in a window. They've got to go. I know Jack is not going to go, but they should be gone for me. We could recoup maybe 50 million and plump it into a centre back or a good, another good centre defensive mid. I just, I just can't bear it. Um, Rambo for me. I, I keep telling you guys, I, he shouldn't be playing for me. Yeah, he scored the goal, but apart from that, he did absolutely zero. His usual thing, running in treacle. You know, he, he looks like his legs are about to come off when he tries to get up to speed, and then when he's got up to speed it's just slower than Henri's statue outside the Emirates it's I don't get why people are such a big fan of him yes he scored some brilliant goals down the years and I wouldn't mind watching his his goal highlight video when he leaves but he doesn't do enough for me and he, he's just not he's not good enough um, you know he might get away with it in Italy but he, he don't get away with it game in and game out in the Prem for me and I thought he was piss poor today um, I thought our midfield on a hold the midfield three were garbage um, just when we needed it today they weren't there um, and like I say I'm not going to place the blame on a 19 year old that's stepping up from French League 2 I'm going to blame it on the two season pros that for me I'd love to see go out the door and I'm, I, I'm happy Ramsey's going um, you know I'm, I'm sure more, a lot of people don't like that same as my Xhaka comments but I can't wait to see the back of him I think he's another one that's been holding us back um, 
that's that. Um, let's get to the, the good parts. Um, Iwobi, you know, I've not been his biggest fan. I've criticised him, but you cannot deny the guy is trying his bollocks off. Um, and, you know, today it wasn't one of his better performances, but he was at it again. And, I, I, I you know, I saw him wiping Monreal's arse a few times, covering back his energy and his work rate's great. And if he can just just scrub up that final ball and that finish... It, 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 we've got a really good player on our hands, you know. You forget he's only 22. He, he, he could, be, he still could be anything, you know. If you just look at this, how Sterling went, you know, oh, he's got his shoes on back to front, he's got Kellogg's boxes of boots, you know, and then all of a sudden he's just under the right manager, bam, and it happened for him, and that could happen with Iwobi. So I'm not giving up on him yet. Um, but it is so frustrating when he keeps going for that back post finish, and he's not aiming five meters wide of the back post and naturally it'll curl in he's aiming for the back post and it's always right down the middle of the goal and I explained it to somebody the other day for me it's because he, in, he's not looking up he's looking down all the time so when he's looking down it, the ball's in his feet rather than out of his feet so he can play that finish right into the top corner like you know the goat Thierry and you know DB were brilliant at um, you know they just had that down pat that back post finish um, but I'm not giving up on Iwobi and I thought he put a great shift in today uh, you know he was one of my you know keep saying it every week he's, he's one of the better players for me at the minute uh, um, you know as much as frustrating as he and he's one of the better players um, Mickey man of the match for me absolutely outstanding I thought he was absolutely incredible um, you know you look you know Mesut um, I, I pick me Mickey over Mesut in the in the camp position at the minute if we're going to play somebody there I, you know he's well, it is a guy who is showing that he's down for the cause whereas I'm not so sure with Mesut um, you know, you've heard my comments about why he's not been playing it's down to him Unai's told us straight for a long time um, that you know, if Mesut does what he's meant to on the training pitch he'll start and he's clearly not doing it and he didn't fancy for him a big game today and when he came on he did, he did sod all really um, and it goes to prove you know, I'm on Unai's side with that I'm, I'm, I'll never be a player over the club or a player over the manager um, you know, no one's bigger than the club and Meza Ozelain either. Um, and I think he's right to bench him again. But Mickey, for me, absolute quality. His last few games, um, you know, apart from in and around his injury period, I think he's been rock solid this year. I think he's been really good. Um, so, yeah, man of the match for me, I thought he was awesome. Um, and I hope he can keep it up till the end of the season. Uh, my, my boy, my, my gay lover, you know, if I was ever going to turn for someone, it'd be him. Um, Lacker. Just had a stinker today, didn't he? It just didn't didn't come off for him at all. It's funny how, you know, first few minutes he had that chance that he wafted out on his left foot. You know, if he could have put that in, game could have been totally different. The one in the second half, you know, when it got squared across the box to him, I, that one had the one over the shoulder on the left foot was a bit tricky. The second one, I definitely expect him to bang in, um, and I think that's why he left the pitch in a bit of a strop today because I think he expects better of himself, um, and I think he was very frustrated today. Um, with himself because I think he you know you look at his work rate he appreciates what it's like to play for us and, and, and love a club um, you know and he, he you know he he talks to the fans you know and um, I think he knows what it means to us to win a lot of North London derby and I think that's why he was so pissed pissed off today because he was he was frustrated with himself rather than you know getting subbed I think he was just annoyed at himself for not bagging his chances um, subs uh, Torreira I, I thought we needed him to come on at half time for either Gwendouzi or Xhaka and that's exactly what Unai did um, and I thought it made us a lot more solid in the middle um, the sending off is absolute fucking mental um, how ex-pros and, and professional officials cannot see that all he was trying to do is swipe the ball before Rose got to it play the ball and then it was just his follow through that ended up studying into, into rows. If you see the way he's swinging its leg, it's going across, not straight into rows. So for me, that was a crazy red card. Absolutely crazy. Um, uh, just frustrating now that we're going to lose him for two games at minimum. Um, mind blowing. Mind blowing. You know, I'll get onto the officials in a minute, but baffling. Um, Mesut, when he came on, I, I didn't think he did a tap. You know, that's where he could really prove to the guys that. You know, the noses are so far up his arse, they can't see anything but his cheeks. Um, where they could really, you know, give them that that boost that they need to keep backing your pal. Uh, and he, and, and he, he, didn't, he, he didn't. That's when he could come on and set the world alight for 20 minutes and show us why he's a world-class player. And he just didn't. And that's why he's not getting picked um, 
frustrating for me today with him, but you know, he's another one. I'm not going to judge him on 20 minutes, but on the money he's on, I am going to judge him on 20 minutes. And it's no good stepping in against Barte and, and playing half decent and looking like a world. Eh? That's not enough for you, your wages, mate, and the type of player you are. Um, and he's another one. I, I think he's got a go. Um, just in the current situation that we're in, I think we've got to try and get rid of him. Uh, I think he's too much of a luxury player. Um, Ober, I've been saying it to you guys, I think he's been dropping solid two and three out of tens for at least a month and a half. I don't know what's happened to him, but you know, even the people who banter him saying he's a pace merchant, I, do, I, can't, I can't see his pace at the moment. I don't know what's happened to his pace, but he, he's another one who looks like he's running in treacle. He, he just doesn't. I mean, Keon said he's the nearest thing we've had to Henri, and I don't think he's anything like Henri. I don't think he's. He's, he, he could even lace on his boots I really don't uh, you know yes he is an absolutely clinical finisher but that I think for me is pretty much all he's got to his game it looks like his pace has gone he, his link up play isn't great uh, the only other thing I will give him credit for is obviously he's a big personality and you know he brings a lot to the squad um, dynamic but I'm finding him really underwhelming guys I, I, I really am I've I, I felt that way for quite a lot this season you know we paid big money for this guy and you know if he when the goals dry up, I fear that quite a lot of people might turn on him. Um, and I don't want that, because like I say he seems like a nice guy and he, he does seem like he's trying, but there's just something not right with him. Right with, right with, there's something not right with him for me. He's, he doesn't look like the player that I saw in pre-season at the start of the season. It just The fizz has gone out of his game. The, I don't know what it is. I, I, God knows, there could be something going on behind us. I just don't know, but he, he's really got to step up and it's just a shame that... What, our strikers who've been in good form all year, the one game we really needed them to be in good form today, they, they, they weren't at it at all. You know, Lacquer had two great chances that he could have buried, you know, over with a penalty. Um, I, I, I thought it was a soft penalty, but I, I thought it was a penalty. I, I've seen softer this year, you know. Look at, looking at Spurs, you know, they've had so many soft penalties. Is it? How they've got a cheek to moan about, that is fucking beyond me. Um, but, you know... Um, yeah, his penalty was a bit, the run-up, just the, the finish. It wasn't the penalty of a confident man, was it? You know, you look at the one at the start scene, like same pre-season against Boreham Wood, he wrapped that right in the top corner, there was no doubt about it. And today, that just looked like a man who's not on his game. Just a real lacklustre penalty, and then the, the follow-through, you know. He should have cut, scored that follow-in, and like say, from the evidence that we've seen, you know, Alderweireld's already, he's practically on, he's nearly tackling Aubameyang when he's taking the penalty and that's the only reason because he's five yards into the box he's the only reason why he stopped him scoring the rebound so I feel we got mugged there as well today and that's what I'm going to get on to now is the officials today it's absolutely disgusting um, like I say for me you know if VAR was in this year Spurs would have the nicest biggest shiniest, shiniest newest stadium in the championship because those fuckers are dipped in shit you know I, I, I just don't understand why they get so much luck um you know, and that's what was nice about our first goal today is that it came from Kane doing his usual where he feels like a defender might make a challenge so he backs off and then he falls over and it was so lovely that Karma struck him right across the face with that and we went up the other end and scored and then the stuffy little fucking Jimmy from from South Park eh? seeing his smug little dribbly face when he when he skanks a goal uh, I, I just can't bear it you know it, it really makes my balls ache seeing him seeing him celebrate it, it knocks me sick um, and you know he was a mile offside for the free kick and the foul was a foul but he shouldn't have got to that point um, bullshit absolutely bull you know the linesman's like Damn, why aren't you on the line with it mate it's from a dead ball how are you not on line with the, with the back line I'm fucking mind blowing and the, the fish ain't for me the last two years has gone really downhill it's absolutely shit and I don't understand why it's got so poor I appreciate that referees and they need more help but we need it now because we're getting mugged off on such a regular basis and so many really, really poor, easy decisions that the, the officials are getting wrong, you know, really obvious ones. It's not like they're really tricky, you know. It was a good half a yard, yard offside today and that can't be getting missed, you know. These ones where it's a bit of chest or a toe or something, they're tricky, but these ones where it's an half a yard, a yard of bullshit. Um, so they shouldn't have had a penalty for me. Um, the red card should never have been a red card. I thought our penalty was a penalty. He was soft, but I thought it was a penalty. And it, it's, just, it's just so frustrating that we're getting mugged again. Um, and it's just made me want to scream today because I was really happy with the on a whole of the performance. I felt we deserved the points today. I really did. Um, and, you know, for me, we should have won that game 2-3-0. Um, but we didn't. So we've got to look on now to next week. And Man United, 
and I think that's an even bigger challenge um, and that's going to take something monumental for me and especially now with Torreira not being out of play um, that, that's, that's going to be a real tough one for me and I think it's season defining I really do um, tricky tricky just an odd mix of emotions today guys I'm sure you have your own thoughts and I'm sure you all feel a bit sick, in, sick, sick as a chip but we've just got to take it on the chin and keep rolling you know and just look at what is actually happening on a whole and looking at the bigger picture you know we are outperforming I think for the squad we've got I, I do I don't think we should be anywhere near the top four um, you know to say that we're probably having the worst two years we've had in, in 20 and Spurs are having the best time of their lives to consider today we could have been one point behind them I, I was nearly creasing over laughing um, you know Calmer's probably bit me a bit in the arse for that but I'm really impressed with where we are and what he's managing to get out of this squad of a lot of has-beens for me and, and bang average players. So I think, you know, next season and the season after, you know, unless the wheels completely come off and this guy's still at the helm, I really fancy us to become title challengers, I really do. Um, you know, if he gets some backing from Stan. So, tricky one for me, guys. Bit of a mix of emotions, but that's my thoughts on today. And we roll on. Thursday night, Rens, let's do this. That's me, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. Sci signing out. Enjoy your weekend. Take it easy, people.